shut up so hey guys welcome back to the channel and today's video we are going to see how can we solder a breakout board with its pin headers so in front of you i have a mpu6050 breakout board and uh, today i'm going to solder with its uh, pin headers and let me first place the pin headers on the breadboard and uh, yeah it's done then uh, I'll use the other set of pin headers because I'm not going to use it as a stand to support the breakout board so that I can easily solder it otherwise it's going to have a tilt angle and uh, it's not going to be comfortable and it won't be perpendicular right Now that we are all set, let me place the board. And here you can see we are good to go. Take your solder iron, plug it in, and let's rock and roll, baby. So, in order to so solder, you need uh, some wax and uh, flux. And wait. You need to smash that like button now to learn how to solder, not the new way. Okay, so today we are going to use the easy way. And uh, all right, let's see if our iron is hot. Yeah, it's smoking and it's really hot. So we can start. Take some wax, dip the rod into that. Yeah, it's my way. It's not the professional way, but it's going to do the job. And we are going to learn the easy way. Take the flux. And just jump in. That's it. That's it. You need to know that's it. Yeah, let's go. Let's see. Alright, alright. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Don't, don't touch the PCB. Don't, 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 don't touch the PCB. All right, all right, all right. Don't, 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 don't make a contact between two, two, two pins. Just get careful. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you just made it. Wait, wait a second. It's not up right. Oh my God. What is it? Oh no. It got stuck. Hey, come out. No, man. no, no, no. Come on, man. Oh. <laughs> Let's start again. <sighs> Alright, uh, jokes apart, you need not to worry about touching the PCB layer. Alright, just take the wax, take the flux, and go on roughly applying the flux over the pin headers. You need not to worry about perfection. Alright. Don't shake hands like this noob. Do you get my point? You need not to worry about messing things up. Because soldering is not going to mess in any way. Unless and until you burn the board. With the rod. Nah, it's not gonna happen. Feel free. Just uh, make some uh, rough adjustments and uh, try to place the flux between the pin headers and the board will find the ring layout where you need to place the flux exactly and it's going to get bonded automatically you just see me uh, how I'm just randomly placing some flux uh, here and there and you might see sometimes it is not getting stick to the pin header because the rod itself is uh, accumulating the flux all right so not being a noob you can still apply that flux on the soldering iron onto the board or should i say the pin header and the board right so you need not to worry about uh, it being collected fine all right so you can see that i have made some bulbs like structures but don't worry uh, we are gonna fix it in the later part of the video all right, I'll show you how to turn these obese little guys into skinned and ribbed six-pack abs ones. Okay, 
so don't worry. It just uh, roughly apply solder flux on the pin headers and uh, go with the flow. Okay, we have collected a lot of uh, solar flux and uh, if, if you have a solder brick with you it is very nice uh, but if you don't have I just like to wipe it off with the cap of the wax cover yeah I, I, I What should I do? Don't worry. So even if you apply a lot of flux like this and it turns out to be a big bubble of flux, don't worry, we will just remove it in the later part of the video. I will show you how. Okay? And it's very interesting to see. All right? Yeah, you, you can see I've, I've made a lot of flux on uh, specifically two pin headers it's not at all a problem all right so i'm going to make sure that i have enough of flux and uh, whatever the excess ones are i'll just remove them okay now, 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 now you know if it gets thick you can remove it with a higher immediate thought to pull it out all right so if if the flux is less it, it is a problem if it is more it's not a problem all right Okay, let's move on to the part. I, I know it's looking very... I can understand. You I, I know, I know. This, this is not the result you wanted. Let me fix it. Yeah, one, I, I did uh, one off camera. Mm, it just happened with the flow. I discovered that when you place the so you see Oh my God! You just need to place the tip of the soldering iron onto that and make sure that there is no extra flux on the soldering iron because it's gonna add more instead of removing. Just place it and it's automatically gonna shape it up. Yeah, that's it. That's the way professionals do it. Hashtag the new professional. I, I think the result is pretty good. And uh, if you are wondering, before wondering, just turn off the power supply. All right, it, it's really necessary to turn off the power supply so that nothing messes up. Fine, let me remove the board and let's see what we have soldered so far. I think the results are quite nice. And if you wonder, uh, these uh, blackish or glossy material that has spread onto the board is not